On a championship level, no matter what sport, preparation and patience will always be the key to success. Such is the case with Scott Stenzel, who today will debut in his first super speedway race. All of the emotion, the time put in, and rigorous training will boil down to that one moment. Drivers, start your As Scott was growing up, he found it very difficult to get into motorsports. His family didn't have much money, so he wasn't off to a good start. Luckily, his backdoor neighbor had a small dirt racetrack in their backyard. When he turned 16, he had to go out and build his own race car from scratch. We didn't know a lot of people in the sport. We were fans of it, but uh, it, was, it was difficult. While working at the Daytona 500, he met Charlie Patterson, well known in the motorsports industry Charlie has helped jumpstart the careers of many NASCAR drivers, such as Ryan Newman and Jeff Gordon. I've been in racing for several years and uh, worked with a lot of drivers, and I've been around a, a lot during my years. I told him that I was down as an agent working with young drivers. I want to find out if you can drive a race car or not. And the way to find that out, there's a go-kart track here in town. Charlie favored this special go-kart track down the road. A well-known and popular track, Charlie decided to break Scott in. Impressed by his performance, Charlie becomes inclined to take him to finish line school. Got somebody I'd like for you to meet. This is Scott Stenzel. Yeah. Mike Lewis. Nice While Scott got ready to take on the driving course, he was not alone. Other drivers were there and ready to show their worth. Only Scott was a little bit quicker to show his, becoming the fastest in the group. I want to take a rookie driver to Daytona. Daytona can kill you. Feeling that Scott should brush up on his skills, his agent recommended some dirt track racing. After Scott placed third in the heat race, it qualified him to the B main. But Scott would suffer a major setback and a humbling experience. Coming up through the field, Scott's drive shaft broke, causing him to fall behind the pack. Scott's first test against other NASCAR drivers was at his first K&N Series race in New Hampshire. Here, he worked with crew chief David Ift. After qualifying for 23rd place, he fought through the field climbing all the way to third before the wreck happened. Scott saved the nose of the car and avoided a potential big one. But 21 laps later, Scott would face another setback when the right front tire let go. Scott was fortunately able to save the car by pulling into pit row. David Ift saw what he needed to see in Scott in that race and decided to give him another try. That happened in Talladega. For this race, Scott had the opportunity to work with co-owner of Roush Yates Engines, Doug Yates. Doug builds the majority of the Ford NASCAR motors in Cup, Nationwide, and Truck, and boasts several championships in his resume. Last-minute instructions are never too last-minute. Scott joins the company of other NASCAR greats who've been crew chiefed under David Ift such as Darrell Waltrip and Cale Yarborough. Sometimes the big one can be difficult to avoid. Sometimes you can be the cause of it. Halfway through the race, it happened. However, Scott managed to avoid a possible debacle by mere inches. Seizing the opportunity, Scott made a valiant effort to charge back up through the field finishing in seventh place. Dropping back to 60 of Patrick Shelter coming into the picture, as well as at 42 of Scott Stencil. Going from 29th place to avoiding the big one to finishing unscathed in seventh place feels like a win in itself, not just to Scott, but for the entire team as well, proving that preparation and patience at a high level will often reward its practitioners.
Well, I think Scott did a great job. You know, I mean, Talladega is uh, one of the, my favorite tracks, and uh, to come through and, and to come from the back and, and catch the lead pack there, I mean, he showed a lot of talent and uh, good things to come for him. Scott would be able to prove himself again at his first NASCAR Camping World truck race, but this time he drove for Mike Mittler, owner of Mittler Brothers Machine Tool, and he's no stranger to developing new talent. Carl Edwards, Brad Keselowski, and the late Kenny Irwin are just a few names that have driven for him. Dallas Stripes is getting a lucky dog from Aaron. Scott Stenzel. The shoes looked pretty big for Scott at this point, but Scott was able to make the show, starting in 32nd. In an impressing run, he worked his way up to 15th before running out of fuel with five laps to go. He would end up finishing 21st. Had a heck of a day, man. You did exactly what we wanted to do. We ran all day, we got all the laps in, and we rolled that thing right back in the hauler without a scratch on it, man. Couldn't be happier, buddy. You did a great job. How about the Mittler brothers? This is the one and only team that's been in the series since all the way back in 1995. Promising young stars can become easy to identify, but only few of them will burn in longevity. They've got a young driver named Scott Stenzel here. He is hoping to get in this race and get some experience at the big Daytona racetrack. The future is still bright for Scott, but the big test has finally arrived. Taking the rookie to Daytona, a rookie who's never driven on what is considered by many one of the most dangerous tracks. As well as at 42 of Scott Stenzel. Scott will eventually go on a path not to chase ghosts or fill shoes, but to cement a legacy. And that path is just around the corner.